Hey, hi, welcome back to Digit.in. My name is Vignesh. Now, as always, Asus has been raining down laptops on us and we have yet another Vivo book in the office. Wait a second, I can't quite tell which one this is. I know it's a Vivo book 14, but it could be the X40 something. Anyhow, I think it's the X403 because we've already seen the X412. So let's see how the X403 did in our review. The X403 silvery metallic top cover is smooth to the touch and grippy to hold. Measuring 16.5 mm in thickness and weighing 1.35 kg, the X403 is comfortably compact for a 14-inch model. Opening or closing the lid with one hand reveals no signs of flex. On the inside, we see a matte display surrounded by fairly thin matte black bezels. The color of the keyboard island matches that of the rest of the laptop, which, in my opinion, oversimplifies the laptop's overall appearance. This VivoBook definitely could have done with a bit more variety in its color scheme. What about the display? The display on the X403 is predictably a 14-inch LCD panel with a full HD resolution. In my experience, the unit is both bright and colorful for everyday browsing and video playback. The screen is bright enough and works well in both a sunlit balcony and a conference room that has bright lights directly above the laptop. The anti-glare finish makes a huge positive difference to the overall readability of text on a browser window. In other words, this screen is perfect for users intending to do a lot of reading and browsing. The two bottom firing speakers on the X403 work just fine for casual music playback and quick video calls in a quiet office cubicle but beg to be replaced by a proper set of external speakers in noisier spaces. Highs and mids make it through without sounding too muffled or distorted at max volume, leaving the lows to be better expressed. I'm happy to say that there's no dearth of I.O. ports on the X403. On the left side of the laptop, we see a round pin power port, a full-size HDMI port, a USB-A 3.1 port and a USB-C 3.1 port along with a couple of status indicators. On the right side, we see a USB-A 2.0 port, an SD card slot and a 3.5mm audio jack for headsets. A tiny quick-to-read fingerprint reader finds itself on the top right corner of the laptop's touchpad. Let's move on to the keyboard. The keyboard on the X403 is comfortable for typing long documents and emails. Like the ones on the X412, the keys on the X403 have just the right amount of travel and resistance. It appears Asus has finally nailed the feel of the keys on its latest VivoBook series. That said, the keyboard layout itself could do with some improvement. For example, the power button could have been placed away from the delete key to avoid accidental sleeps or hibernates. In addition, Asus could have chosen a slightly darker color for the keys on the X403 while retaining the silver base because the white backlight under the silver keycaps often results in low contrast while viewing letters on the keys. In other words, it's like viewing white text against a white background, illegible and therefore useless. The touchpad on the X403 is a precision unit, which means multi-finger taps and swipes work right out of the box without the need for a third-party utility or driver on Windows 10. The surface is smooth yet grippy, making for easy taps, clicks and swipes. The left and right mouse buttons, which are under the touchpad, are a tad hard to press, but they should be no bother in the long run. In summary, the touchpad on the X403 is just fine for everyday use. All things considered, I think the new ASUS VivoBook X403 is a pretty fine machine for everyday computing. It has a great keyboard, it has a nice touchpad, and man, that battery can just go on and on. What do I not like about it though? I don't like the fact that you can't upgrade the RAM and the fact that it comes in that silly, boring silver color. But otherwise, it's a fine laptop really. Go ahead and get it. I will see you in the next video. Do not forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye.